Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the biggest travel trailers on the planet. This one is actually considered a destination trailer because of the length, the size, and the weight of it. This is a 2022 Cottage by Cedar Creek model 40CFK2. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this beast and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. A super, super excited episode today, guys. We are taking a look at this massive cottage by Cedar Creek. But before we begin, let's say hi to Will. Howdy, Will. Hey guys. How's it going today? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this, guys. Destination trailers are becoming so popular and they're so cool because you can buy a piece of land wherever yep. you like, yep. put this there, and it's a cheap way to get like a little second home or whatever. Right. So I'm excited to take a look at it. Well, me too. Let's begin. Model is 40 CFK2. The actual tip to tip length is 40 feet 6 inches. The dry weight is 11,559 pounds and the hitch weight is 1835. Now, Will, if you come up here, notice this is a manual tongue jack. Yes. What a pain in the butt, especially for a big and heavy travel trailer, right. why is this? Because it's really not designed to be moved around a lot. It's not a travel trailer, yeah. it's a destination model. What does that mean, more or less? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, you'll, you'll kind of take it and park it. You might sell it to somebody else who then takes it and parks it. You know, it's designed to be moved a little bit, um, but overall, you know, you, you kind of leave it permanent. And, and so they don't want to make it too easy to, exactly. to move around. It'd be a waste of money to put an electric tongue jack on exactly. it. Exactly. It's more of a move, move aroundable than like a modular. Yeah. But like for that annual service or like maybe you got to take it, park it for the season and take it off. Right. You know, so it does give you that mobility. Once a year, twice a year. Exactly. Like but you're not supposed to be taking this to different campgrounds. Right up here, propane tanks and your batteries go here. Look at this, Will. Do you think this aerodynamic can break the tow? <laughs> no. Not at all. Double slide out up front. It's going to give you a heavy tongue weight. Nice big windows. This is the Cedar Creek Cottage. It's awesome. Coming on down the side here, no storage and manual stabilizing jacks. And again, guys, you're going to see the price. You're going to be like, this price, they're giving you manual jacks. Guys, these are made to set and forget. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Over time, the electric jacks, the auto leveling, as nice as they are, they do um, they 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 do uh start to get weak over time. Yeah. Coming on down the side here. Look at this. No awning right here. Big windows. Okay. Watch out for the freaking barbed wire. All right. What happened here? And then check this out, Will. Nice, awesome glass door. Right. Now it is prepped for steps. Right. But why would somebody want this glass door and not have steps on it? Well. I mean, you can't have the steps when you're driving. One, yes. But two? What come was on, the question? Well, let me just answer it for America. Like because a lot of times people will build patios. Oh, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So you don't always need steps. You put your patio out here, which is really awesome. Look at these tires. Well, they're Ridgeway Sports. 235-80R16. Again, going with the cheapest tires out on the market. Right. Um, it, it makes sense. I mean, there's, yeah, they're not the these you don't great want tires, but they're going to get you the couple hundred miles down the road to yep. your site. Yep. Right here, we do have another entrance with the crap of fold up steps. Um, this I don't like at all. We'll talk about that a little later. Okay. Coming on down the side, we do have power on it here. Outdoor speakers. Really awesome. Really big unit. Coming around the back. Dang, Navi will no ladder to get up on the roof. Womp womp. Uh, no ladder, no hitch, big window. It is prepped for a backup camera. Again, unnecessary. Truthfully, guys, the people that are buying this, they're hiring a professional transport driver. Yeah. Um, and there is two AC units on the roof. Let's continue now. All right. Over here, there's those steps. Just an 
amount of storage. Okay, so that's the bed. Yeah, as well. And at least those are solid steps. Yeah. Um, which is nice. Finishing up. Oh, I love this. I forgot about this. Right here is your uh, sewer connection. Black tank flush, 50 amp service, potable water fill, potable, potable. City water. Will, do you know what's in here? Uh, no. Water heater. Oh, okay. The residential size. It's locked. No. Yeah, but it is that residential size water heater. Okay. Finishing up. It's where you have your cable, your sewer hookup. Oh, look at that. I love that. Six point. Six point manual jacks. Good. You need it on this beach. You do. <clears throat> Then to wrap it all up, here's your furnace and your hydraulic pump. It is a uh, silly slide out system that we'll tell you about in a little bit. But, and there is a propane cooktop right there if you do want to have a grill. Cool. Well, well, the outside of this cottage is meh. It's a cottage. Looks like a house. What? Been there, seen that. The inside is absolutely fantastic. Let's go take a look. All right. Skipping over the barbed wire. Yes, sir. Only in Georgia. That's right. All right, back here is that bedroom. Coming up, you have the bathroom. And then in the front, wow. Nice living area, kitchen, dining area, and everything. Well, Where are we starting? We'll start in the middle today. Okay. And before we do, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back. You can relax it. You can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Will. Yeah. Amazing. First and foremost, before we even begin, this mother of an RV is huge. You know it what I'm is. saying? It really is. Right up top here, we got huge storage. Look at this. This is the cedar, this is the cottage under the Cedar Creek umbrella. Right. Now Cedar Creek is a division of Forest River. Right. But this is giving you that inspiration that look, this furniture from Cedar Creek. We didn't see this in the last Cedar Creek video. This says tough collection series, five year warranty, extremely durable, easy to clean. Very comfortable as well. Good. Right over here, the Allure collection. Really nice theater seats. Comfortable, <clears throat> huge, huge windows. We do have daytime shades and privacy shades. Okay, tall slide outs, tall box. Will, right. can you touch the ceiling? Uh, yes. Okay, but you, you guys get <laughs> you the gotta point. reach. Yeah. yeah, and stand underneath that slide out. Right, sir. this is what's cool. Typically, like I can't stand under most slide outs. Right. You know, um, except for some full pro fit wheels yes so that's really nice again gives it that really roomy feel yes and then directly across from these theater seats is the tv entertainment center insignia tv nice space right here sound system check out the storage above yeah very cool sound system there fireplace everything that you want and need all those speakers and everything super nice over here will is the table and chairs and dinettes and look at this you can see how much they can go back very very nice you got some of the screen doors and stuff for that glass door but see that's nice <clears throat> you know what that is what's that that's the um blackout things for the screen door yeah yeah for the glass door oh whatever. very nice very nice nice big windows and everything just a really nice table and chairs 
super, super awesome. Cool. Will, show us this kitchen. All right, this is a huge kitchen. This is the kitchen. Yeah, let's start over here. Nice storage up top, uh, over top of the microwave. Soft clothes, I was not expecting that. Nice um, insignia convection microwave. It's taped up, so I'll leave that. Nice backsplash. Four burner graystone cooktop. That's funny because usually when you have this cooktop, it's the insignia. Right. But, you know, they like swapped it. It is like, what it is. I like how you have a little bit of counter space on both sides. Mm. Little spot for a cutting board. Nice residential apartment sized oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got that one. Yes. Nice little spice rack. Really good sized pantry with a couple drawers that come out. Wow. And then the refrigerator right here. Well, up top the refrigerator first. Okay. Good spot for cutting boards and, you know, baking sheets or anything like that. And then here, again, normally you won't have to do this because this is designed to be left. But you got the little holder for the fridge so it doesn't come flying open. Wow, there really you go. Really good size residential refrigerator and freezer. Yes. On this island here, there's nothing. I thought the sink was here at first. Right. But it's really, really good counter space. Couple drawers. Yes. Right there, you do have the um, um, centralized vacuum system there. Yes. Good storage there. And then over here, this is what I think is really cool, especially yes. if you have a site with like a water view or of whatever. Of course, yeah. You have this great view while you're either <clears throat> cooking, washing dishes, whatever. Storage here, tons of counter space, solid surface countertops, a nice little spray faucet, big double bowl sink, same storage on that side, couple drawers, Nice spot for your sponge. A little bit of storage underneath. Yes. Way down there is a hey, trash can. Hey, that's a $104 trash can. It sure is. Hiding in the back right there. And a couple more drawers here. Perfect. Now, well, I don't even know if we should go to the bathroom. Okay. Because I don't even know if think it's going to pass the shower test. You don't think so? <laughs> oh, well, before that, you know what time it is, Will? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <clears throat> oh. Broken. Purr. Mm. Purr, purr, purr. I'm right. running out of them, Will. Right. MSRP on this destination. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> One hundred and six thousand nine hundred and fifty-one dollars. Will. MSRP. Sale price. Midstate RV has its discounted twenty-two thousand dollars to $84,732 sale price. Not bad. But Will, we are partnered with Midstate. So if you guys are interested in this unit or any Cedar Creek or any unit, always go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out that contact tab. We will call them on your behalf. We will get you with one of our partners. They'll reach out to Midstate RV. Um, we'll reach out to them for you. And we will make sure that we get you an even better price than that that's and right. more importantly, we're going to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry and Will. Let's continue the video. All right. Will, check out that shower for us. Okay. I don't know if you're going to pass. Uh-oh. Dude, first, I love this sliding glass door. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's an encore. <laughs> yeah. Of course it's going to pass. Of course. This Man, this is like twice today. Man. It's like huge. You, Jeez. you don't even need the skylight. Right. This is great. You guys know Encores always do it right. And there's plenty of head height. This definitely passes with flying colors. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Right over here, we got wardrobe space there. Not wardrobe. No closet space. Yeah. Over here, dual sinks, mirrors and all that. Nice little action there. Yep. Look at what they did here. You get a full drawer because they put the little thing oh, right there. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like those sinks too. Good size sinks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Nice little medicine cabinet here. Nice. And then right here, Will. Porcelain. Almost a head violation, honestly. Right. But that's not in the bylaws. Okay. This is a prime poop position. Bing! But I don't like that there. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Right. 
All right, coming on into the master bedroom. This is where your controls are and everything. Okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. Coming in here, well, master bedroom, right? Yeah. So this is something, no, I'll talk about it in a moment. Okay. King size bed, I love that. Right here, Will, this is like a heater or whatever? Yep, a little cadet space heater. Okay. Big storage up here. Very nice. Same on that side. Oh man, it has these yeah. stupid things. I feel like they don't look as bad in this one. They really don't, you know why? Because it does. Yep, yeah. exactly, exactly. Over here, big one, love this big window. Love this big, big uh, closet. Yeah, man. Couple drawers. Eight drawers here. Wow, that's a lot. Very nice. Hidden storage. TV right there. And then hanging out behind Will. Oh, storage. I didn't even see that there, Will. Maybe that's why you called it hidden. Right. Nice, huge closet, stackable washer, dryer. Prepped. Um, prepped, sorry, yeah. And that's where that water heater is going to be. Yep. And then uh, big storage right up there as well. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, Will. Yeah. Everybody's dying. Well, wait, no. We, we already know the MSRP because we're in Georgia, and Georgia puts the sale price, and we love that. Yes. But before everybody goes... It's now time we give you three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Dislike. Yeah, don't you have a dislike in here or no? Okay, I thought... Because you said you were going to talk about something. No, that was a like. Oh, okay. okay. Rem remind me of the likes in the, okay. in the bedroom. But I do have a dislike right over here. <clears throat> dislike number one, Will. This is the one slide room yeah. control which controls all three slide outs, and I do not like that. I do not like where we're standing, right? So these are the most dangerous slide outs. Like this one, okay, so this slide out's not gonna hook anything. Right, right. Where this one, the slide out, like one of the drawers could have been open and, and, and then hooked and we don't know it. Yep. And not only that, the top of the, the most important part, Give me three buttons for three slide outs. Right. Not one button for all right. three slide outs. That's dislike number one. Will, dislike number two? Um, shoot, I had something. Was it on the outside? I, I, cause I got a combo. Okay, go ahead. Hate the black steps on the outside. Oh, that's right. Hate them and no awning on this slide out that's right there. That's what it was. I was what was that. that it? Yeah. Yeah, double dislike right there. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that. Yeah. Okay, that's number two. Do you have a number third? Um, I'll do a combo, another combo, because it's two little things. Here, again, with this, I talked about this before, especially being a destination trailer where this is like, you know, somebody's home a lot of times. I hate these steps here. Okay. And this is hydraulic, so I think they could have had a flush floor slide. Right. And I'll combo that with the carpet on the slides. Yep, and that's and flush floor. And I'll do a triple combo Whoa. With, the, with the, uh, uh, vents in the floor for, yep. you know. I get it. Crumb collectors. I get it, Well, So that's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this unit. Okay. I'm going to give you the first two. Go ahead. Number one, Will, from the bedroom to the bathroom to this area, one level. Yeah. No steps, tons of ceiling height. Yeah. Love that feature. I do love that too. That's number one. Well, number two, sliding glass door. Huge windows, this windows, I love that. Right. The amount of windows and space, again, this is, feels more like a home than a travel trailer. That is number two. And then, Will, do you have a number third? Of course. Talk to me. I'm gonna say this kitchen area. This kitchen is huge. And what's really nice about this is, again, a lot of people will make this a, into their home, and you could actually really cook in here, feed the family, have guests over, um, and everything feels really solid and everything, you know? I think it's because it's a Cedar Creek. It's the homey, yeah. You know, version. Um, it just feels, you know, it's a little, it's gonna be more expensive, but I think it's worth the money. Yep, and for okay, Cedar Creek is the vision of Forest River. Yes. Forest River does make other destination trailers. Yes. But you can tell this the cream of the crop right. rise to the top. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this unit or any RV in the world, always go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill yes. out that contact tab. We're part of RVR, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. We're going to have somebody close to you, okay? Right. Fill out that contact tab. We will make sure that you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry. That's right. Will, is there anything you want to say? 
yeah guys again thank you all so much for watching this is a again a, a nicer um destination trailer we've shown many in the past but um, a lot of them, I feel like, aren't to the quality that this one is. So yeah. I think that this is a really good option for something looking for somebody looking for a higher end unit on a permanent site. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so yes, much for watching, and we'll we'll see you next time. Bye.